Did you know about Teams? I've been getting a lot of requests about uh, how to use Teams, and so I figured I'd make a quick video on this. Microsoft Teams is essentially a unified communication platform that combines uh, workplace chat, video meetings, file storage, and different types of app integrations. But basically, it's a tool that allows you to communicate with both colleagues and students, and it's one of the tools that is offered here at the college, and so I wanted you guys to know about it. So let's take a look at this. Um, let's go over and take a look at Teams. What you're looking at here is Microsoft Teams installed on my computer, and you can see all the different teams that I've created. And basically what happens is up here you can join or create a team. Over here you have uh, an activity notification if conversations are going on that you're included in. You have a chat feature, um, and one of the nice things about a chat feature is when you're talking to somebody, you can make a video call to them, you can make a phone call to them, uh, or you can actually share your screen with them so that person can see what you're seeing. And uh, this is nice. Again, you can make phone calls to anybody at the college. If I wanted to call somebody, I could actually put in somebody's name, and there's Jamie Rost from, from um, Campus Tech Services. A anybody I wanted to call, I could just put their name in at the college, and they would come up, and I'd be able to contact them right through Teams, which connects to my calendar, my Outlook calendar, uh, anything I do in through my Microsoft at the college works with Teams. Now, how do you get Teams? Well, one of the easiest ways would be to go to Atlas, right? You guys know what Atlas looks like, and in Atlas we have something called Office 365. And so if you click on Office 365, it's going to look like this. Now, remember, Office 365 is our cloud-based version of Office. Most of you have Microsoft Word and uh, Excel and PowerPoint downloaded and installed on your computers, but this is actually a cloud-based version of it. In other words, it lives in the internet. Well, Teams is one of those things. And when you click on Teams, it'll actually take you to a cloud-based version of Team. Now, if you look at this, you'll notice that this cloud-based version of Team actually looks a lot like the downloaded and installed version of Teams. It, it mimics. It's almost exactly the same thing. But once you're in this cloud-based version of Team, you go into, again, Atlas, you go into Office 365, and you click on Teams. It may ask you to log in with your name and password. That would be your Valencia login. What will happen is, is you have the ability to click up here and download the desktop app to your computer or download a mobile app. And so what that is going to do is that's going to ask for your email address. It'll automatically send you an email link, and then you could bring it up on your mobile phone. Now, what does this look like on your mobile phone? Well, let's take a look at that. Okay, what you're looking at here is Teams on my phone. This is actually uh, represents my smartphone. And um, down here, you'll notice you have the activity window again that shows you what activity is going on. You have the chat. You have Teams. I could actually click on the East Campus Communications Division and go in and see that people are having a conversation. This team was set up the other day by uh, Linda Neal, our dean. And uh, we can share files with each other, and we can do different things. And what's happening is, is, is teachers are posting, they're talking, they're chatting, they're communicating with each other. But one of the features I love most about this, and I love using with my students, is the fact that my students can chat with me via Teams. And so, uh, for example, this is an example of a chat. Um, you have a chat going on. And one of the things you can do is in the chat, you can go right to video conference or you can make a phone call. Um, students have the ability to share pictures and, and do different things with you. It's really nice um, and to use this phone app. And students have the common underlying proficiency. They're used to using social media to communicate. Once they download Teams, it's really easy for them to chat with you. You can see, again, uh, all your different teams, set it up and work with them. Now, how do you connect with students? If you're using Teams at the college to work with other colleagues who are teachers at the college, you simply click into your team and then click on these three dots which will give you the ability to manage the team that you've created. From there you can go into the settings and if you want to, in the settings you can go to members and simply add members. Anybody's Valencia email address you can put in their Valencia email address and it'll be added. The problem is, is that students are on a different email address. They're at a mail.valencia address and you're not able to add them. So what you need to do here is go over to where it says settings and then click on this button and you can get a team code. If you don't already have one, you'll generate a team code and then you can share this team code with students. And so what will happen is, is, is what I recommend is sending students a message telling them how to install Teams. 
You can also let them watch this video. This video will show them how to install Teams. Once they've installed Teams, they'll just log into their account. Now they're going to need to use their mail.valencia email address and password uh, to log into that account. But once they log in, you share your code with them and they will put in their code. Now how do they do that? Well, when they click on the Teams button, one of the choices they're going to have is to join or create a team and one of the options is to enter the code. The same is true on the phone. In Teams on the phone, I can click up here on this button, so the one right here, and join a team with the code. And then all I have to do is enter the code and I can join in. So again, students can join you via their smart devices or through their app on their computer. And then once they connect with you, you can video conference, you can screen share, you can do all kinds of things. Uh, this was a quick introduction video to how to use Teams. Uh, I hope you can make use of it and um, have a great day.